what's up guys welcome back to another video today we wanted to show you guys what's available because there's still some stuff that we have that needs to go to new homes because I don't need it and I don't want it and I need you to take it so let's go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that we have there's some that's on morph market and some that's not so if you haven't checked out our morph market store yet make sure you go do it see what is available but we're gonna show you guys a few things that aren't up there yet but they will be very soon so um basically in just this top half here i still have some hypo still waters um they're possible uh miami Xanthic, and there's some really nice ones um well they're, they're nice snakes too but they also look nice so i don't know yeah i don't know they look good you see Anyway, most of the the still waters are like the high yellow line. So anyways, and I have a few uh, Miami Xanthics that are like reverse. They're possible hy hypo still waters. And I've got a couple of those that also need to go to new homes. So anyways, they're pretty good looking. And uh, these adults actually are like massive. So um, if you guys are looking for something that's relatively uh, chunky, Go with any Xanthic. These guys get kind of big. My adults, when they were like two years old, were the size of some of my five-year-olds. They were huge. So, anyways, um, I've got a couple snows left actually, and the snows are really cool. Actually, there's one snow and then a snow white side. Um, the snow white side isn't actually posted right now, but let me show you guys her. And it's a female, so. Sorry, she like got in the water, but check that out. Anyway, really, really pretty. Great colors. Uh, I haven't uh, raised the snow white side just yet, so, but I held one back, so we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Um, okay, oh, and I have, oh, you're in your water. That's annoying. I didn't even post about these guys just yet, I don't think, but I have a couple of forks that did turn out really nice, so. If you're looking for, you know, a couple of nice Sonorans that also have potential to get really big, um, I've got a couple of those. They look really nice. So, and then check this out. All right, these three bags are empty. And as you can see, I got a lot of cages to clean. Actually, Spencer has a lot of cages to clean. So anyways, these three bags are empty now and I was able to shift everything and reorganize, which is really great. Um, and then these three racks are what's also left of um, what's available. So, some of this stuff, like I said, we haven't really like, shown or talked about. Um, but, anyway, there's some Christmas Mountain Sonorans that are left, and that's locality. And, uh, let's see if we can get the lighting good here. Really pretty. Some of the ones that I have left are more of the lighter colors. And they turned out really great this year. So, that's exciting. And then I do have some other bull snakes that aren't online. Um, I have a couple other albinos that turned out really nice too. Just a couple of those. Oh, there's just really nice. Actually, I think that's a hypo albino technically. This is a hypo albino white side. I don't know how well you can see that with the water in the way, but look how white the head is on that. Really pretty. So, and that's a female. So. Hit me up. Um, and then some other San Diego's actually. I have a couple of San Diego gopher snakes that we didn't really post. It's mostly from like the dyer line. Um, but they turned out really good. So this one has like a lot of really pretty orange and stuff. But really great contrast on that one. Um, there's a couple of their T positive and a couple of their T negative for like vegetable line, I think. I. Apparently it's a little jumbled in those ones and I didn't really know that when I bought into them, but anyways, so now what else do I have? Um, some other bull snakes. Oh no, those aren't bull snakes. That's more Christmas mountains, some other just generic Sonorans, some more San Diego's. Um, what else? Oh, the other stuff that's online. Oh yeah. I need to get these guys clean still, but, um, 
some other really pretty hypos. This is a hypo Trumbauer. And these guys are like really, really pretty. They're kind of like peachy is what I call them. But uh, really pretty. Just every shed, they seem to get lighter. And they have like a lot of yellow going on too. But um, yeah, anyways. I've got a couple of these left and they're, they turned out really nice, I think. I have some other Trump hours, um, and these ones are not as friendly. Well, which one should I show you? That one's way different. That one's, I think, the really not as nice one. Not as friendly, I mean. Like, this is another Trumbauer, but, like, looks completely different. I know we've talked about how Trumbauer varies so much, and it really does. But here's a different one. It's really pretty. It's got more, like, purples coming through, so. Anyways, really great looking. I have a couple white size left, too, um, that are pretty neat. And what else? How about that ghost? Oh. Yeah, where is it? Um, this one. All right, I've got this really pretty uh, ghost female left. This is a Stillwater Miami. And uh, as you can see, she's already growing really well. She's actually got great size on her. And uh, these guys are just super cool. Um, probably my favorite ghost just because I love the contrast on these ones so much, just when the black comes in from the Stillwater influence. My favorite, so. Um, yeah, and that's a female, and she isn't online just yet, but she will be. But if you're interested and you see this video before I do it, hit me up, send me an email, DM, you know, just get a hold of me. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. Is there anything else you can think of? And we got that male to go with that ghost. He's just oh, a hypo though. Yeah. But he's guaranteed hat, um, yeah. Xanthic. Yeah, this is a Hypo Stillwater, um, but he is definitely a guaranteed hat, Xanthic, because mom was a ghost. So, uh, he's really nice though. Really pretty. So, yeah, no, that's true. I got those. They need to find new homes. And, yeah, I don't know. Actually, there was. Oh, I have this left too. Um, I actually thought that this was sold, but, but it's not. Um, this is a red that's a Het Hypo, and this is from the Hanum Project. So this one's a Het Hanum Hypo, and oh yeah, he's like getting all riled up right now. Anyways, um, and he's actually, I think, coloring up, and he's gonna be really pretty. Um, and he has great genetics behind him. So, could be a great opportunity for somebody that kind of wants to uh, mix up more of their ham project um or just get into it right now um because he is a guaranteed head so and then also we have kingsville reds oh yeah those are down there there's a few more kingsvilles i want to well these guys probably won't actually let me take them out but um just the yellows i haven't really talked about them and i actually kind of got out of the yellow project a little bit hey calm down um, but this is a hypo yellow Trumbauer line and these guys actually mature into really beautiful adults um, They're not quite Well, they're colorful as babies, but they do color up really nice um, So I've got a couple of these hypo yellows that are het white sides and then I do have one hypo yellow white side that's left too and um, It's right here. Oh, it's a male You let me pick you up Woo! Maybe we'll just post about that one later. I don't want to get bit on camera. Scary cat. <laughs> you try it. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, and then we do have a couple of Kingsville's that are left. I guess I just skipped over that. Um, you're in the boil. Um, you're not in the boil, but you weren't the one I was looking for. You're in the boil. I guess they're like, they're in the shed right now. Oh, this is a nice one. Make sure we close those. Um, yeah, here's just a nice Kingsville male. Um, nice, friendly. Uh, <laughs> he just needs a minute and I'm sure he'd calm down. But anyway, so here's another nice Kingsville. We've got a couple more of these still available. And, uh, and a lot of our Kingsvilles that we've sold in the past have actually really colored up 
to be very pretty adults. So even though it might not look like much right now, that's kind of how reds work sometimes is they color up more as they grow. Um, so they're kind of an exciting one to, uh, to raise. So yeah, I don't know, is there anything else? Uh, that pretty much covers it. I think that mostly covers it. Don't look at this. Don't look at that. What is that? These are my holdbacks from this year. <laughs> okay, look, check it out. Um, yeah, I know this rack is almost full. Stop, stop. Don't show them that many. Um, I produced some really cool stuff this year. And a lot of this stuff is like projects. Um, some of it's secret projects, which is why there's so many holdbacks because we're working with a few different things. I'm trying to produce something new and cool. And obviously it'll take a few years to grow these guys up, but um, some of the stuff you guys have seen before and, and you know what it is. There's a bunch of, um, well, it's a lot of bull snakes actually is what most of it is. So, but there's some really pretty ones throughout here. I don't know if I really want to show any, but here in the flow. I was going to show you guys one of them. I just gave this stupid thing new water and it already pooped in its water. That's awesome. But why don't we just pay attention to the snake? So this is a hypo blood red tiger. And don't even think about asking if I'm gonna let it go because I'm not, but thanks for asking. Um, anyway, that's actually a female and um, I'm, I'm holding on to her for right now. So um, anyway, there's like different projects and I, I'm not gonna say much more about that, um, but there's some really cool stuff that I'm hoping will really turn out um, in the future and, and I hope you guys are excited about it because I am. So yeah, um, anyways, yeah, I don't know if there's really, probably wouldn't really talk about any of the rest of this right now, but uh, maybe we'll do a video on more of this kind of stuff later. I think Spencer wanted to, so at some point maybe. But uh, but yeah, so if you guys are looking for anything, um, I still have some stuff that's available. I think there's probably like, I don't know, I probably have like 100 I still need to get rid of. So hit me up so I can get these moved out and so you can get a new snake in your collection because these guys are the bomb. So go out and get yourself a picture of Make sure you buy from Summer Snakes. Ha! And, uh, and thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.